Hey guys, Hello Bella here, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what I eat while on Ozempic. I have been taking Ozempic for a little over six months at this point, and it helps me with my appetite, it helps me with my hunger cues and fullness signals, and it's been a great tool for me in order to lose weight. I've lost uh, several inches off of my waist and off of my entire body. I'm starting to slim down and I'm starting to feel much better, starting to have more energy, and in this video, I want to kind of walk you through some of the meals that I have and I will say that I'm not very particular about the types of food that I eat. For me, tracking calories is the best way for me to monitor how much food I'm eating and I also find it helpful just to kind of try and get in um, enough protein on the daily. One of the ways that I do that is to pretty well have a protein shake per day. Um, I usually have about 30 grams of protein through a Premier protein shake a day. While that is kind of expensive, um, it also keeps me very full and keeps me on the right track so I feel like it's kind of worth the cost in my opinion. Some of the other things that I frequently have are um, seltzer waters. That's something that I drink throughout the day. I usually only limit myself to two cups of coffee per day because otherwise I am like um, you know jittery and I get anxious so I try to minimize the amount of caffeine that I'm having. Diet soda every now and then, um, but usually it's something that I try not to have every single day. And in addition to that, um, I just eat a lot of just boring food like chicken, cheese, eggs, things like that. Um, so in this video, I'm going to kind of show you day in the lifestyle of what I eat. It's not that exciting, but it is um, sort of like I don't know, you can contextualize the weight loss that I've had over the last couple of months. If you see the types of meals that I'm having, one of the things that I've noticed about eating is that it just does not, it does not have that same magical feeling that it used to have. So I'm not as concerned about food. Food does not give me the same dopamine that it used to. And so unfortunately, you know, I've lost some of the joy of eating, but I also it's, it's a pro and a con at the same time. So in the video, I'm going to try my best to kind of show you everything that I'm eating. Obviously, um, what I eat changes based on my mood, changes based on how busy I am, what I've got going on. And I'll often have frozen dinners, but I don't think that those were featured very much in this video just because I wasn't really thinking about showing you guys that, but I do have sometimes, you know, the lean cuisines and stuff like that, but it's something that I really prefer to just have uh, freshly cooked meat in the fridge and so I can meal prep with that on like Sunday and then I can eat that throughout the week. But I hope that you'll enjoy seeing what I eat while I'm on Ozempic. Today we're having these tacos. All this is is chicken and rotel and onions in the crock pot with some taco seasoning and then I added some fresh onions, cilantro, and cheese. I'm using these carb counter street tacos for the tortilla shell. These are only 20 calories and at first I was kind of thinking I would make three tacos but usually what happens is that my eyes are always bigger than my stomach and what I'm going to do is eat these and see if I feel like I want more and chances are that's not going to happen. One thing I like about the crock pot type of meal is that I can use this chicken on other things throughout the week if I want to make like a taco salad or something like that or if I just want to add it to something that I've already got like have some chicken and rice so it's a very diverse way of cooking and I can't take the credit for it. Daniel was the one who made all of this so um, really appreciate that but this is just an example of one thing that I'm going to eat to lose weight on Ozempic. This is actually um, around 300 calories so really low calorie as well. I wasn't intending on having it that low but I'm not super hungry but it, since it is around dinner time I'm going to go ahead and eat so that I don't get like ravenously hungry in a little while. All right guys as promised I wanted to show you what I've been eating. So for breakfast this morning I had a Senor Rico rice pudding for 130 calories and I also had a cup of coffee with some pure protein in it. I've been using about one third to one half of these per cup of coffee and then I drink two cups of coffee a day. So I mean I get about 30 grams of protein from these usually per day and that's what I'll be having for breakfast. Breakfast for me usually just depends on how hungry I am. Um, today was not super super hungry so that's why I'm having that. On other days when I'm feeling more hungry I'll have oatmeal and then I also have Greek yogurt. This is the uh, cream brulee um, of the light and fit by Dannon and it's 80 calories so I'll usually add like some granola to that but that is just an example of the types of things that I have for breakfast and then I also have these light and fit protein shakes. They're 10 
grams of protein and they're only 80 calories. I actually haven't tried them yet, so I'll let you guys know how those are once I try them. So obviously once I finish the rice pudding cup, it has to go somewhere, so here you go. This morning we are using one of the best tools ever invented to cook some breakfast. I am just doing oatmeal for breakfast this morning. I got up and did a workout. I was fasted from a workout. So we're having the blueberries and cream instant oatmeal. This comes with eight packs and it's usually around $3. I think I got it on sale at Publix for about $2 and something. It was buy one, get one free. So these have 110 calories per pack and I'm having two packs. So pretty high on the carbs, 44 carbs and six grams of protein. So um, definitely a carb heavy breakfast. After a workout, I usually feel like I need to replenish some of my energy. I think I burned a little bit over 400 calories this morning. I did cardio and a little bit of weightlifting for about 35, 40 minutes. And then I cleaned for about 20 minutes. So I had to clean my white kitchen cabinets. I love having the white cabinets, but you really have to be uh, on it to keep them clean. But I'm just going to be having this for breakfast. It's one of those low effort, easy breakfasts. And if I wanted, I would add some granola to it, but I'm really not starving. So I think I'm just going to eat it without the granola this time. We also have some almonds, walnuts, and raisin mixes. Um, I got this one from TJ Maxx and this one from Aldi. Something that may be <laughs> not that visually appealing. I'm going to add a little bit more water to it, but but um, overall, a quick and easy breakfast for 220 calories. This is my lunch for today. I am having four slices of bacon, and I'm going to be eating this with some cream cheese and some pretzel crisps. I am about to get the bacon out and kind of sop it up some of the grease with a paper towel so it doesn't make me sick. I'm having these pretzel crisps. These are garlic parmesan and you can find these at like Walmart or Publix. They are 110 calories for 28 grams and I believe I've got like 40 grams here. And then this is just whipped cream cheese spread. You can find this at any grocery store. I like it to put it on a cracker with different types of meat. And then I'm going to be having this watermelon mint sparkling water. It's zero calories. I found it at a discount grocery store. And I know this is not necessarily the most like healthy thing in the world, but the last time that I ate this meal, I honestly did not get hungry for like seven hours. And it comes out to be about 470 to 475 calories, I believe. So um, really just an easy way to get some protein, get some fats in. So I'm just having bacon for lunch and no one can really stop me. Okay, I said no one can stop me, but my stomach stopped me. I ate what I wanted to eat, and I have quite a bit left, so I'm just going to be putting this back in the refrigerator. One of the things I did wrong when I first started taking Ozempic was I would push past the point of being full because I was so used to doing that normally, and it was something that I didn't really understand my fullness cues. But since I've started Ozempic, I've really been less motivated by food, and it makes it easier to stop eating once I feel satisfied. And so I just want to give that tip to you. If you are starting out, um, you might want to put... Um, what you normally put on a plate and then plan on eating like 60% of that uh, or 50% of that even um, because it's just your stomach just can't handle food like it was. It stays in your system longer and it's definitely more prone to making you upset if you, um, you know, you eat too much. But this is a good example of a lunch that I would have if I was, you know, wanting to cook something that I felt like was really going to be filling. But also, you know, obviously everyone has different nutrition goals. This may seem like a terrible choice to some people but for me it's a meal that keeps me full and gives me energy so I don't see anything wrong with it and it's something that I go back to over and over again sometimes if I don't want to eat the crackers I will use like bell peppers but the thing about the peppers is you have to cook them for a lot longer so sometimes I'm kind of lazy about that but didn't eat anywhere near as much as I thought I would and that is a common theme for me when I am on Ozempic. Today for lunch, I'm doing a salad. I did this chicken in the air fryer. I marinated it with some hot sauce, cilantro, and onions. And then I'm just putting this on some lettuce and I've got the Fiesta blend cheese. And then I use the cilantro avocado dressing. It has 40 calories per serving. So pretty low calorie in terms of salad dressing. A lot of salad dressings have a ton of like oils and stuff. So I'm trying to steer clear of that. But um, what I did was for this week uh, for meal prepping, I made 
um, all of this chicken here in the air fryer and I'm just going to put that up in some bags and then I'll use that throughout the week to make different things. The dogs are very interested in it because they can smell the chicken. Um, but this salad comes out to just under 500 calories and once again it looks like something that I may not be able to eat all of it but I'm going to go ahead and get started on this for lunch because I just got back from the park doing a 40 minute walk and I have definitely walked up an appetite. Hey guys, this is my Saturday lunch. I am having a pork loin with a little bit of sweet onion sauce and I'm having some carrots with some ranch dip and all of this comes out to only 350 calories. This is just some leftovers that we had this week and then I bought some veggies because I figured I need to try and get in some more fruits and vegetables. Here is my lunch for today. I went by Chick-fil-A and got me a spicy chicken sandwich and some ketchup. This is 490 calories and then I think the ketchup is 25 calories. So I do not limit myself to not going to fast food, but I will say when I get fast food, instead of going to get like the whole meal, like the sandwich, the side and the drink, I usually just get the sandwich because it fills me up and I don't wind up having a lot of leftovers. And honestly, it cuts the calories pretty much in half if you don't wind up getting a side. I do try to make sure that I only get something like this maybe once a week or so. I don't like to make a habit of it, but I'm definitely in the mood for it today. So I'm going to dig into this sandwich. All right, guys, I just wanted to wrap up the video by thanking you for watching and reminding you that if you are starting Ozempic, just remember to start slow in your changes that you're making because the best way to make changes sustainable is to slowly change over time. If you change everything all at once, you're going to have a very hard time of staying successful. In order to make change, you have to sort of moderate what you're doing. You have to try. You have to have effort involved. And so it's hard to put all your effort into something all at once. So for me, it's much easier to say, okay, I'm going to count calories this week and next week I'm going to limit the amount of calories I have. And then the week after that, I'm going to try to count calories, limit the amount of calories, and then also aim for 100 grams of protein per day. So just think about it in terms of that. And if you're not losing weight super quick, it's not something to get discouraged about. My weight loss has honestly been really slow compared to other people's. And at times it made me feel self-conscious or made me feel just like I'm not doing enough. But I know in reality that I've focused on this extensively and so I think that the results that I'm finally starting to see are like a culmination of everything that I've been doing. So I hope that you enjoyed the video guys. I hope that you kind of got some insight as to what it's like to eat while on Ozempic and I will catch you guys in the next video. Take care.